Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this lecture we will solve Langevin equation, Langevin stochastic differential equation uh, by using generalized Ito lemma. So I will state here generalized Ito lemma again. So it says that if you have a function which is depending on time and some process and this process is given by dx to be f of t dbt plus g of t dt then dynamics of h can be given by dh equal to partial derivative of h with respect to x of t times f of t dbt plus the partial derivative of h with respect to t plus partial derivative of h with respect to x of t times g of t minus or plus one half the second partial derivative of x with respect to uh, h with respect to x times f of t square and all of this with dt. So that's the generalized version of Ito lemma. Now I am given with Langevin stochastic differential equation. And the Langevin stochastic differential equation is given by dxt to be equal to alpha times dbt minus beta times x of t dt, which is x naught at time zero you can write its integral form as well but let's not talk about it so what i'm going to do i will consider a function h which is depending on this x so i will consider this h e to the beta t times x of t i'll consider this h and i will apply the Ito lemma. so if we consider this h and this x with the process then you can see that the f of t that we need in the Ito lemma is this one which is the coefficient of this dbt in the process so my f of t is going to be alpha and my g of t is going to be this guy over here which is minus beta times x of t right and what I need, I need the partial derivatives of this h with respect to tx and xx. So h with respect to t is beta times e to the beta t x of t. So this is beta. h with respect to x of t is e to the beta t. h with respect to xt, again xt is 0. So we need to insert these values, uh, which values, so these values, this value, this value, this value, this value, this value, into this form. Once we insert these values, we will get our, uh, you know, differential of this H and from there we can move towards the solution of the Langevin equation. So this is the Langevin stochastic differential equation. Lang key when stochastic differential equation okay so my dh is equal to h with respect to x is going to be e to the beta t times this f of t f of t is by alpha and dbt plus so h with respect to t is beta times e to the beta t x of t plus h with respect to x is going to be e to the beta t times uh, this g of t which is minus b times x minus b times x of t and then plus the second partial derivative of h which is 0 so dt that means we get dh equal to alpha times e to the beta t dbt 
plus you can carefully see that this gets cancelled with this so it is zero so this dt term goes away so this is zero times dt right let's get back to the same pen so we get dh equal to alpha times e to the beta t times t b t now we can integrate this both sides so our dh is equal to alpha times e to the beta t d b sub t or we can insert the value of h which is e to the beta t times x of t alpha times e to the beta t d b t we just integrate this from 0 to okay so let's integrate in the next step from 0 to t e to the beta times s x of s equal to 0 to t alpha times e to the beta s d p s so you just apply this integral so you get e to the beta times t x of t minus e to the beta times 0 x of 0 equal to 0 to t alpha e to the beta s d b s now you know that x of 0 is equal to x naught and this e to the 0 is 1 so we get e to the beta t minus x naught equal to alpha times e to the e to the beta times s d b s or I can write this x of t equal to x naught times e to the minus beta t plus alpha times plus alpha times 0 to t e to the minus beta times t minus s t p s right that's how the solution to the Langevin stochastic differential equation can be given. So that's the solution to the Langevin stochastic differential equation using E2 lemma.